Chernobyl, the nuclear disaster in the Ukraine, was the blue beam of light when Chernobyl occurred real? And what was it? This is on today's article, Express UK, by Sebastian Ketley. Chernobyl, a nuclear plant, explosion of 86, was a blue beam of light when Chernobyl occurred real. In Chernobyl, the new HBO and Sky Atlantic drama state that there was an eerie blue beam of light that appeared moments after the nuclear disaster. But was the Chernobyl beam of light real? Hmm. And where else have we seen blue beams of light near energy producing plants? Hmm. This may explain exactly what this blue light that we see quite easily at the night skies. Uh, you can't see it during the day because of the sunshine. But what is this? Now, the Chernobyl HBO and Sky followed the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl power plant in northern Soviet Ukraine. This explosion happened April 26, 1986. A failed safety test coupled with design flaws and also human error is what triggered the largest nuclear disaster in human history. Uh, now, I don't know what's happening with Fukushima. Maybe people are not telling us exactly what's going on there. Maybe that's the, the greatest nuclear disaster. But let's uh, look at this one for now. The incident led to two explosions of Chernobyl's Reactor 4. It blew out the roof of the reactor building and it released up to 5% of the reactor's nuclear material into the air, into the atmosphere. 5%. In the HBO and Sky drama, they say that moments after the Chernobyl nuclear explosion, there was a blue-white beam of light that shot up into the sky from the exposed nuclear core. And also after the nuclear disaster, at least two eyewitnesses did report seeing a blue flash of light after Chernobyl's first explosion. One was close and one was about uh, 500 meters away. Uh, Alexander Yuvchenko fishing, and he saw it. Anyway, Alexander, Alexander Yuvchenko, who worked at the Chernobyl plant at the night of the explosion, recounts how he ran out of the building and saw half of the building gone and the reactor emitting a blue glow of ionized air. That's it. Very strange. That shouldn't be happening, God forbid. But anyway, a similar story was told by Vladimir Chernushenko, who was former head of the Ukrainian Academy of Science, he coordinated the Chernobyl cleanup efforts. Mr. Chernuchensko, Chernuchensko spoke to an eyewitness who claimed to have seen a blue flash of light while fishing about 1,640 feet away. That's about um, 500 meters from the disaster. As we know, it's, a, it's on a river as most uh, power plants are on rivers, even in uh, the, the U.S. Uh, or on the coast, and uh, they need the water. And uh, he was fishing in that river at the time he saw this uh, blue beam of light. The, the witness said he heard a loud noise and an explosion, followed by a blue flash of light and a, also a second blast. In Svetlana Alexe Alexeyevich's book Chernobyl Prayer, Ludmila Yantenko, whose firefighter husband fought in the fire at Chernobyl, described a glow around the burning power plant. But the glow may have simply been produced by the fires raging in the Reactor 4 building. And she said, I never saw the explosion itself, only the flames. Everyone was kind of, everything was kind of glowing, the whole sky. Well, that's a fire, but be, that's the fire is pink and red and orange. But we're talking about the blue glow. She said, I never saw the explosion. There were these tall flames, lots of soot, terrible heat. I was waiting and waiting for him. Now, Miss uh, Ignatenko's husband, firefighter Vasily Ignatenko, was one of the first responders at the site of the nuclear disaster in order to try and put out the fire. And unfortunately, uh, he died just two weeks after this incident from acute radiation sickness, ARS for short, in a Moscow hospital. So what exactly was this blue light that emitted after the Chernobyl explosion from the reactor? According to Lars-Erik de Geer, 
one of the Swedish Defense Research Agency uh, blue light around a nuclear radiation is associated with intense ionization. So that's, this is what this engineer explains. The blue light around nuclear power plants is associated with intense ionization. Ionization is the presence by which an atom or a nuclear molecule is excited to a new energy level by acquiring or losing electrons. Um, the nuclear expert in turn, and the team of researchers examined the blue glow seen at Chernobyl in a 2017 paper published in the journal Nuclear Technology. So Dr. De Geer wrote in his study, this is what he uh, concluded, it is well known that critically, uh, critically accidents emit a blue flash or rather a glow which derives from fluorescence of excited oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the air. It's obvious that the most impressive explosion was the one that ruptured the fuel channels and threw the 2000 ton lid with its hanging fuel channels, can you imagine, high up in the central hall from where it fell down and it came to rest nearly vertically on the rim of the reactor tank. Can you imagine? It blew the lid with its fuel channels high up into the central hall and it came back down resting not horizontally but vertically on the rim of the reactor tank. Can you, can you imagine the explosion? And he goes on to say with the fuel fully exposed the air was irradiated and the typical blue glow was lit. So there you go. However, in the TV series Chernobyl depict Deputy Chief Engineer Antony Dyatlov, played by Paul Ritter, incorrectly labels the blue glow Cher uh, Cher Cherenkov radiation. We heard it from the first episode. I only saw the first episode. I want to see the rest, but it's a heavy thing because you have to realize, you know, the reality of this is worse than what they show on the on the TV series. Uh, <clears throat> and they do call, talk about the Cherenkov radiation from the beginning. So, um, Cherenkov radiation is indeed associated with nuclear reactor cores, but it typically occurs in nuclear reactor cores submerged in water, not exposed ones. Well, that's okay. I'm sure that the water... Okay, that, that the air is not going to stop the Chernikov radiation from taking place when you hear what it is. The effect is caused by charges, charged particles flying through a medium at speeds exceeding the speed of light in that medium, in this case water. Okay, so if they exceed the speed of light in water, can you imagine how much faster it is in the air? Well, because it's not water that's uh, sort of blocking the uh, particles from, uh, you know, uh, from uh, from emitting, but the air in air they're going to be emitted even faster, even easier. So why should it not take place in air as it does take place in the water? In that these particles are going faster, exceeding speeds, exceeding speed of light. Can you imagine? The electrons polarize the electric field in the water creating a light shock wave which produces the characteristic blue glow. Okay, again, I don't believe that it's only possible to be done in the water. I'm sure it also takes place in the air with a much easier way because even air has moisture in it. And of course, it's easier for this, uh, these particles to uh, emit through the air because of the fact that there's no resistance uh, as the laws of physics teach us. So I'll leave a link below for you for this on uh, Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.